lovely lot and welcome back to a new vlog i hope everyone is okay i thought i would pick up my camera again it's been a few weeks since i have and film another day off in the life of lockdown but this time it's a bit more interesting because not only are we in lockdown but we've kind of been snowed in because there's quite a lot of snow here so i'll show you that in a little while because I think my mum measured there was about 23 centimetres of snow in some parts of our garden. So yeah, it is half nine. I'm going to go and do my standard and go and make myself a coffee and get myself some breakfast. I'm fancy and Marmite on toast. But I thought I'd just show you something that's come in the post. So I ordered some prints from someone on Instagram called Sammy J Designs. I'll put their link in the description down below. But I wanted to change up some of the prints that I've got on my gallery wall. I've got like a range of different prints that I've collected over the years. And some that have been like kind of gifted to me and stuff. So the Killer Queen one is one of Sammy J's um, designs prints already that he gifted me. But I have brought the rest of the ones with my own money. And... I added this one recently. It's just Shawn Mendes's handwriting said it I wonder, which I thought was quite effective, but I'm gonna change some of these up and put some of the new ones that I've ordered. And I also want to show you something that I've ordered on Redbubble. I think if you saw my previous video of my Tyvet Hill, I kind of quickly showed one of the things that I've ordered from Redbubble, but a big development since the last vlog. Turns out I've got a bit to say. Uh, a big development is that I have recently become a little bit obsessed with Pedro Pascal, aka the Mandalorian and Javier Pena from Narcos. And I think he also played a character in Game of Thrones, but I've never watched that and I don't think I will. So even if he is in it for one season, I just can't put myself through it. But yes, I have recently become a little bit obsessed with him and his acting and I have watched quite a lot of um, interviews of him and I'm currently nearly finishing Narco Series 2 and then I'm going on to Series 3 which is where he's kind of like takes the lead on the main character but um, I got myself a phone case full of his faces. I know this isn't going to be to everyone's taste, but it keeps me happy. But let me just open the prints and I'll show you which ones I ordered. So this is the um, Instagram business. So like I said, I'll link it down below. So I'll just get these prints out. This is the first one. So basically the premise is I think he kind of does like marbling with um, water and paint and then creates really unique looking backgrounds for like popular lyrics of songs and stuff so this is the first one, I absolutely love this song I thought it would go with the vibe of my room because my room is kind of like blue, gold and pink so I thought that would look quite cool on my wall yep, so that's the first one just got to check this so the next one, I absolutely love Prince and Raspberry Beret is my favourite Prince song. So I can not resist getting this and then again it goes perfectly with my room and these two together look really nice. And I have to say the quality of these prints are absolutely incredible. And then the last one I ordered was this Fleetwood Mac Come and Be With You Everywhere one which kind of combines the pink and the blue perfectly and will be brilliant for my room so those are all the prints and yeah really happy with those and i definitely recommend checking out um sammy j designs on instagram if you want some cool prints and you're a music lover like me so yeah he does um custom ones as well it's the little haul i'm trying to support more small like businesses a lot more this year so ordering things like that that um, obviously mean a lot and he was running a 20% discount code off that so I thought it was a perfect time for me to order them. You know it's cold when I've had to put my dressing gown and slippers on just to come down to the kitchen. I don't normally get this cold but I thought I'd just quickly show you what the snow looks like. Oh my god it's so cold what the snow looks like in the garden. 
You can see how thick it is. Um, hold on. You can see how thick it is on the bench. I think it's still it's trying to snow now. Oh, look how thick it is on the bin. I think it's trying to snow now. It's a beautiful blue sky, though. Yeah, I think I might go out later and show you a little bit more, but I'll have to be dressed appropriately for that. But I think to warm myself up, I'm going to go and make myself coffee. We've got a new addition to our little coffee station. My mum ordered this on Amazon. It holds 60 capsules. But believe me, me and my mum were shocked that we managed to fill straight from the get-go. And... That's not even all the ones we've got. We've got the overflow and the little basket that we used to have. So yeah. I think I shall have a Starbucks um, espresso roast today because that's my favourite one. Using my new Typo mug. That's from my pool. If you haven't seen it, I'll link it in the description below. But it's this Disneyland Resort one, which actually turned 20 yesterday, which was the 8th of February. I've just posted on my A Dose of Disney. Ah, uh, that's another thing. I've created another Instagram account. So if you, by the, any chance, like Disney, I have created my own Instagram account centered around Disney called A Dose of Disney, but instead of the O, it's a zero so if you want to look for that i'll link it in the description below i'm not really pushing it too much but i've just got so many photos from when we went to california and disneyland that i wanted to post them and obviously have a platform to post all of my ones when we go to disney hopefully next year because i don't think it is going to be this year um i think we've pushed it back to maybe april time in 2022 because I just don't know if November is going to be realistic but you never know we might pull a surprise out of the bag and be able to travel but yeah I thought I'd treat myself to this last little clip of me overfilling my coffee be a listen to you don't look through your camera screen instead of actually in person because then you won't be able to judge how much you're putting in it My toast popped up and made me jump out of my skin and I had my coffee in my hand so I would have spilt that even more. But the toast has popped. Look, the perfect, that's like the perfect crunchiness but it's not too, not too soft. <laughs> I've just opened the door again just to see how much it is snowing and bits keep falling down. It's just made me jump. I think they're kind of melting, they're just kind of falling off the like fence and up there. Yeah, thought you were actually snowing. <gasps> look at the icicle, look at all of those icicles. Oh my god, look at that big one there. That is a big icicle. That's gonna do some damage if it's. Balls. There's a few on the little ledge there as well. Man, that's massive. Right, it's been a hot minute since I last checked in. I look a bit mad. I think I've overdone my eyebrows a bit today. Um, and I dyed my hair at the weekend because my roots were getting bad. It's kind of a different colour. But I have decided to film 
a couple of reels because I had some inspiration. The first one is something that I've seen on Instagram a few times and it is what outfits you'd wear to Disney Park. So I actually haven't ever been to Walt Disney World in Florida but I thought because I'm planning to I'd plan some outfits and make a little reel out of it and I'm also going to do a styling of a Disneyland t-shirt that I picked up in 2019 and I've also got another idea that my boyfriend gave me that I don't know if I'm going to do today but I'm going to plan the outfits so I'll just show you my kind of thought process and the kind of process of planning for the outfits because when you're filming a reel it's important to have all your outfits laid out so it's easy to then get changed so I've laid out all of the items I had to go into my summer box to get some of them because I don't wear some of it during the winter and um, autumn time obviously but I'm going to get dressed into one of the outfits first and then film that I might put this on time lapse yeah, I'm going to get changed like I said set my camera up I'm going to be using my little tripod that I got from um, B&M a few months ago which is really cool that's what I use to film my reels on I use my phone more than my camera because I just find it's easier on my phone and it's already then filmed on my phone for me to edit in spice but yeah let's get filming a video and then I think we're gonna have some lunch <laughs> changes I think that was like five outfit changes I'm just gonna do one more reel and then have lunch I'm exhausted yeah I hope you enjoyed that little bit of behind the scenes of filming a reel I don't know how much you saw of it but there's a lot of doing the same transitions over and over again to make sure I'm gonna take these off to make sure you get the like perfect shot on everything but yeah <sighs> it's been snowing as well it's so weird planning outfits for like 30 degree heat when it's currently like minus two outside but oh well but yeah i'm gonna go and do this reel which is styling my disneyland t-shirt i can't remember i've showed you this before but i don't really wear it as much because it is such a bright color so i wanted to kind of challenge myself to style it so I can wear it normally because I just love it and I love the retro vibe of it so yeah just gonna go and put all of the other bits away that I've been doing for this Disney World reel and then I will get back to you He's after my lunch. I've just given him some, but he wants some more. George, come on, get down. So yeah, I've now packed everything away. I might shoot some photos with some phone cases I got gifted because I'm not happy with how they came out the first time I shot them. So I might do that, but I've got the hoover out ready to do that after dinner, um, after lunch, but I've just got so it's a very yellow lunch i've got some savory rice with some chicken from our roast dinner on sunday and then some carb mango so not a mcdonald's this time but i think i might be getting a mcdonald's for dinner. Sorry. so yeah just gonna eat this watch some youtube and chill for a little bit and have a little bit of a break <laughs> I've just shot or well, reshot some photos for some phone cases that I got gifted that are going to be part of my Valentine's week. I don't think I've mentioned this yet on the vlog, but uh, when I'm filming this, it is currently Tuesday, the. What time is it? 
Tuesday the 9th of February so uh, Valentine's Day is on Sunday and all week I'm just gonna mute that all week I am doing Valentine's week so I'm posting Valentine's themed or like love themed sorry I'm trying to undo my trousers <laughs> I'm um, posting love themed content all week on my Instagram and one of those were um, some phone cases I got gifted from love cases so I've got a um, pizza one that I then wore my I Heart New York t-shirt with so I think the theme's going to be around like things that you love and then the other one is a like pink frappe um, cup like the Starbucks ones and I also like coffee so I want to theme the week around not just like relationship love it's all different kinds of love so I've just shot that but I thought I'd show you a little bit of a behind the scenes of actually shooting content with me so I have my camera I shoot a lot of my content on the Olympus EPL 8 I've had this for a few years now and I like it and then I put a white sheet up on my wardrobe I know white sheets aren't to everyone's taste but I'm working with the small space that I've got I I've moved my little plant over my fake plant over a little bit more so it's more in the shot and it blocks the mirror a little bit more and then I've just put some bunting up from Poundland and this little kind of confetti heart and these little kind of cute um love heart decorations and then I just sit there and use my phone I use the Olympus it's not gonna recognize my face I use the Olympus this um app uh, as a remote control so I kind of use it as if I'm taking the picture from a mirror but then it doesn't look like a that I'm using that this is what's on my phone by the way two hours later I've taken my makeup off put my hair up in a bun I think I might call it a day on this vlog that's better I've got a McDonald's on the way I've decided to treat myself well truth be told my boyfriend offered to get me one on the way home from work so he's going to drop that off for me very kindly and I think I'm just going to chill I'm going to watch the last two episodes of Narcos series 2 have a bath wash my hair but thank you so much for watching this vlog today i hope you enjoyed it and be sure to subscribe so you can see more in the future but until next time i shall see you later bye